How do you attach filters to the lens that has no front thread? For me, the wide-angle lens I use for vlogging does not come with a front thread. The lens that I use is this one, Panasonic Lumix G 14mm f2.5 pancake lens. And together with the wide lens converter, attach it together, then we get 11mm lens which is a perfect focal length for vlogging. At f2.5, it is a pretty neat budget choice to achieve the nice blurry background. The only problem is it has no font thread. So let's see what I came up with. Yes, it is a square filter holder I made it from 3D printer. Just slide the filter down the slot and that's it. Let's see the side view. Nice. So this is the design that I use in this case. Uh, it's rather simple. Uh, it's have the slot for sliding your filter on the top and the bottom side is, uh, is a whole uh, receptacle for, for the lens that you want to connect it to this filter holder. Okay, so this design is rather simple and I also provide a uh, as a full parameter as you can click here modify and the change parameter yeah, In case you don't familiar with fusion 360 and this is all the parameter that you can just change the number and it will affect uh, The design itself like uh, the filter width filter height or something It seems a little bit uh, overwhelming. Uh, in fact, you just need only five of them I will show you here. The first one is the lens outer diameter as you can see uh, and the second one is the filter height and the filter length so in my case it's a square 84 by 84 so it's like this uh, the next one is the filter thickness because itself is around 3 or 2 I don't quite remember and the last one is the foam tape that we use to make the uh, fitting fit so this one also important to consider the thickness of the, of the tape uh, the next one is that I have this kind of drawing so in case you are interested in to change another parameter I list all the name of the parameter here so you can understand uh, why I made that kind of name and you can change the design accordingly so I think that's all so uh, I will share this file in the description and uh, I hope you can use my design and have fun with this little project. I use a filament type 3D printer at my university. Nowadays it is not that difficult to find one. Your workplace or your friend may have it, but you can buy it for your own personal use. Here, these are Kokin ND filters. I bought it from Amazon Japan. It comes with 3 filters, ND2, 4 and 8. This completed filter holder material is ABS. It has this ivory white color which needs to be painted black. This foam tape is called soundproofing tape. Originally it was for reducing the sound transmission. It seems fit well for this application so just peel it off and apply it. And that's it. Here is the final product. To paint it black, you can use a spray can or paint it by brush. Whatever you want. Next, I will tell you why I need ND filter. This video was taken at f5.6 and a shutter speed of 1 over 60 second. And this one was taken at f2.8 and at the same shutter speed. Do you notice the difference? Yes, as you may notice, the video shot at f2.8 has a shallower depth of field, making the background less distracting. In still photography, you can choose any shutter speed you like. However, for video shooting, regarding the 180 rule, we have to shoot at the shutter speed two times of the frame rate. In this case, uh, 30 frames per second means the shutter speed have to be 1 over 60 seconds. This setup makes the movement in the video look most natural. Since we cannot change the aperture, and we also cannot change the shutter speed, the only way to reduce the light is by using the natural density filter. Here's the extra content, the beautiful snowing view from my apartment.
thank you for watching and see you again next time